warning itu pasal warning. warning is for nobody sign the warning so it is nothing but a piece of waste paper basura lang yon uh-huh. and it did not cite any decision of the supreme court saying that all it does for is void nor any of its derivatives for 07, 08, 49, 498. There is nothing in that report that there was a final. Those are all your uh, publications. And you, the whole thing must be charged with falsification of public documents. And treason. Treason. Why? Pag sinabi niyo yung O1-4 at any mang derivative niyan, ayaw, you are going against the Philippines. You are adhering to China. Because they won by O1-4. And under Rule 129 of the Rules of Court, you do not need to produce proof on matters of mandatory notice by any court, including the Supreme Court. What are these? Historical events. What is that historical events? The Treaty of Paris, where on paragraph 3, they respected the private right granted by the King of Spain to Hermoines Rodriguez, which in 1913, transferred to Acopiado. And it is also historical event that Royal God is called Titulo de Propiedad de Terrenos Royal Decree o Wadaspor. So the whole member of the Titulo Marlini's report have committed falsification of public document. Yung isang aso ko sa kalokan na ang involved na ipilit nila ang titulo raw yung natuna yung initial sin naka-certified ng kalookan register. No? Kaya you look at Rule 129. What are considered already proven and no card. I mean the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court can change. What are these? historical events which is the Treaty of Paris recognizing private rights as granted by the King of Spain. Therefore, O1-4, already historical event, cannot be denied and we do not have to prove it. Kaya kahit ang Supreme Court Eh, sila pa kaya. Eh, di nag-commit sila ng pulso. At saka treason. Because if you go against Oman Dasper, by which Philippines won over China in Red Philippine Sea, Article 114 by Spinal Court, any Filipino who adheres to the enemy, and who is the enemy in West Philippine Sea? Right? So when you said, take a Oman Dasper and its derivative, you are adhering to China. That is treason. All of them, I am going to file falsification and treason penalty. Kung hindi lang walang debt, debt lahat, filing squad. Mm-hmm. Ang penalty nyo ngayon lahat na nag-peki niyan, kinontra nyo yung Rule 129, kinontra nyo yung historical documents, habang buhay kayong makukulo. At hindi na kayo ubrang matanggap sa anumang government position, whether elected or appointed. So, yun ang sagot. Sa kalokan, hindi na nakasagot yung kalabang ko yun na sinabing nanalo na raw sila sa kasi yung aking kliyente, hindi lang nakahabol ng isang araw. Kasi na di ba, failure to submit pre-real trip is as big absence na. Default ka na. Eh, sinabi ko, for substantial justice, in the interest of justice, only one day, 
because he is a driver. So he can be sick. Hindi nila ginlang. Tuwa-tuwa sila. Pinapanalo nila, one-sided. 5-4-3. Talo daw si kliyente ko. Sabi ko, Judge, I have to send you to jail. Why? You failed to comply by Rule 129. And what is that? You are mandatory obliged without need of proof to recognize the acts of the judiciary headed by the Supreme Court. What did the Supreme Court say in 1983? OCD 543, null and void. So you cannot decide otherwise. Kahit na hindi pa kami nag-participate kasi declare yung hindi po. Ayun, kagaya hindi makasagot. Doon ko sila dinadali eh, na hindi ginagamit na ibang abogado. Naisipan kong gamitin. Wala kang isip talaga dito sa 129. Ang liwanag ng 129 eh. 126, 127, 128. Ayan, 129. Section 1. We not need to be proved. Automatic judge, i-recognize mo yung acts of the judiciary headed by the Supreme Court. Anong previous acts of the judiciary? In 1983, GR number, 543 is null and void. So, now that you know, and you still decide against my client because he deported, I will be compelled to file a criminal case against you. Not, now you know, knowingly rendering an unjust decision. That means you will go to jail from 6 to 12 years and disqualified to hold any public office elective or appointed. Ala, hindi na nakasagot. Hindi na sumagot? Hindi na. Kaya pag umabot siya ng 5 years <laughs> na wala na silang ginawa, can no longer be executed yung panalo nila. Oh. Pag itinuloy naman niya, tutuluyan ko siya ng kulong. Oh. Kulong knowingly rendering unjust judgment pagkaraang inaalam po sa kanya na ang anumang decision ng Court Suprema ay dapat sundin. Ano yun? 543 has been declared null and void. Kaya, yung decision mo, ngayon alam ko, hindi mo brang execute because I will send you to jail for knowingly rendering an unjust judgment. Kaya uh, sa kalokan, sabi ko, pag dinali ko sila ng ganun, wala na, tapos na ang labanan. Tapos na yan. Tuwan-tuwa yung kalaban eh, minamana mo. Uh, nakalagay kasi sa rules. Pag na-deport ka, sila na lang ang magpe-present outside na kami. Mm -hmm. Yung decision na lang ang aming tatanggapin. Eh di yung nga, pinapanalo niya yung 540 kasi sila na lang ang nag-present ng evidence. Kaso judge, every judge, even justices of the Supreme Court, have to follow, abide by Rule 129. You are supposed to know what happened in 1983. Mm -hmm. When the Supreme Court decided 540 is the report. O ngayon, pag ipatutumat pa niya yung decision niya, kulog siya. Kulog siya. Kaya hindi na nga sa mag-work. Hindi na, tatahimik na yun. Pag lumagpas na sa ilbang taon, hindi na ma-execute yung kanyang decision. Kung ituloy naman niya, pakukulog ko siya. Kasi alam mo na pala eh. Bakit mo pa execute? What can you do, Jack? You can use Rule 135, Paragraph 1 of A, ano, Paragraph G, G. Ano sinabi doon? The 
power of the court to correct itself. Hmm. You have to correct yourself. Hmm. You have to correct your decision. You have to change your decision. And declare that pipe poetry is valuable. So, di, doon ka lang makakaligtas. Kaya sa akin, yung mga hindi alam ng abogado yung pinagawa ko, ito yung ako lang gumagawa ko. Hmm. Wala kang bubundaan eh. Pag pinatalo ko kami, iipit naman kita. Hmm. Bakit hindi mo alam yung one to two na eh? Hmm. Ngayon, ano remedyo? Hindi eh, korekin mo yung sarili mo. Kasi pagka pinatupad mo yan, kung pakukulong kita under hmm. Article uh, 204, 205, 206, 207. Hmm. Kasi pinaalam ko na sa iyo yung Rule 129. Hmm. Pag pinilit mo pa, pakukulong na kita. Hmm. Sa Article 114, Revised Penal Code, treason dahil hindi mo obrang baliwalain yung O1-4 laban sa 543. Kaya wala silang lusot. Hindi sila tayo makakalusot. Hmm. Kasi yung mga taktikang yan, walang gumagamit na abogado dyan. Kaya lang, dahil sa kasasabit ko, baka meron ng nagbabasa, baka meron ng gumaya. Um. Pero so far, wala pa. Kaya ang daming desisyon na talo yung kuryente ko, hindi nila mapatupad. Magsasampun taon na. Panalo na yung kalaban. Hindi mapatupad kasi ipakukulong ko si Jens eh. Oh. <laughs> Kaya iniwan na lang niya. After five years, dead ball ka na. Wala na yung desisyon na yan. Considered oh. as as stayed or dead decision. Oh. Kaya kahit nanalo sila, okay lang manalo kayo. Babalikan ko si Jans. Oh. Pag in-execute niya, babalikan ko siya kung doon siya. Mm-hmm. Kaya ang dapat niyang gawin para huwag siyang maparusag o makulong, avail of Rule 135. Oh. The inherent right and power to change your decision. Kaya tinuturo ko naman ang lusot sa inyo eh. Mamili kayo, makulong kayo, o aminin yung nagkamali kayo after being informed of Rule 129.